it's so quiet it's so quiet and it's dark maybe I need to get another light fixture what do y'all think so today we're going to plant something that I have in my refrigerator but I don't have a lot of it I don't have it planted at all so yesterday when I was out I bought some celery seeds now celery seeds I'm gonna take this thing and bring it real close to you celery seeds are like mustard seeds you probably can't even see them see the little dots those are celery seeds if I breathe too hard these things will blow away so I'm gonna put some on my plate get this dirt off of here I had dirty hands I've been um getting soil for this tray this tray is empty I don't know what this is so I didn't remove it this tray was outside in the rain it is raining here and it is in the 40s so there are plants everywhere again not as many as there was this winter but whew, I had to go and get my babies I was not gonna let them go out there and fight through the storm and through the rain <laughs> I pulled them in so these are tall Utah 527 OR improved um, celery seeds and I got them from I think I was in Lowe's I got these from Lowe's yesterday so I poured some out on my little tray so I don't waste them because I do I, I need celery I, I need celery bad I'm gonna take my little stick in a minute I'll bring y'all closer and I'll wet the plate by accident look at that I'm mad at myself now all right so I'm gonna fling my stick you see this and I'm just gonna pick them up and try not to breathe on it. So I pick three up and I'm just gonna wipe it on there. Luckily these seeds are brown so I could see them a little bit. I'm gonna take my dirt and try to cover it up just a little bit. Take my stick, stick it back in the water, fling it off, and pick up some more seeds. Because they're so little, I'm gonna put three to four in each pot and I have three on here and I'm gonna wipe it off so I've given you the long distance version and I am going to cut and go and bring you really close up personal you're not gonna see me you're just gonna see me putting the seeds in here okay So I have my tray here and my last set of seeds was right here. There are three of them looking at them. They are right there. So I'm gonna go wet my skewer and I've, I've been using the pointy end but I decided I'm gonna use the blunt end. Wipe this off, stick it in some water, fling it off. You see that? Fling it off, fling off the extra water. Go on my plate. And this thing is like a magnet pick up some seeds trying to get to the camera oh the camera's on this side so you see the seeds on there I know it's blurry but you can see them they're really up close I'm gonna wipe these off stick my stick back in there fling it off go back to my plate Pick up some seeds, wipe it off. Check my stick to make sure I didn't pick them back up. So today, I mean, it was raining and it was actually storming so bad my dogs were afraid. Um, actually, I was afraid. I thought it, it had hit the house. I was like, God, please. It's a loud, loud boom sound. It was hitting the ground for sure. Luckily, it didn't hit the house. Thank God. Um, but the dogs were afraid. And they came up with waking me up. And I was like, look. And I was like, you know what? Y'all will be all right. Don't worry about it. But they could not rest. Not used to that sound. It doesn't happen often out here. Here's another set. I didn't mean to blind you with the reflection. Where is that reflection coming from? Oh, right there. 
Let's cover that up. That made it worse. <laughs> okay, I put my hand there. How about that? So there's my seeds. Where were we? Ah, I see. I could see the seeds on this tray because these seeds are brown. So the dirt is real dark. So I wiped them off. Last night I was like, um, I went outside to, to let the dogs back in. I was like, it's a little chilly out here. And I asked the, um, the, the app, I'm not going to say her name because she'll wake up. And um, I asked her what the temperature was going to be. And she was like, well, it's going to be in the 50s. And I was like, it don't feel like it's in the 50s. So I took everything, started bringing as much as I could in the house. Sure enough, temperature dropped. Fling this off because I'm getting water on my plate, which is a bad thing because it's hard to connect with wet seeds. There we go. Got four of them just hanging on by thread. Where did I put those last four? So I have these two rows done. Make sure I get everything off of here. I didn't realize celery seeds were so small. It seems like when I um when I buy them and like for um like for um seasoning, these seeds are way bigger, but mm, must be a different type of celery. So I'm gonna wipe these off. Make sure I get them seeded in good soil. I'm going to spray these also. Where's my spray? There it is. It's across the room. Thought I had everything. You know, I keep on saying, okay, I'm prepared. I'm prepared for this video. And I am somewhat, but I still have to go get my spray gun to seat these things in because they, they are so small, they, they'll blow away. So there we are. You see that? I got them on there. <clears throat> Go to this one. Wipe it off. Fling it. Pick up some more seeds. See that? Got them on there. Lost my space. I guess I'm right here. I'll know soon because they'll start sprouting. I'll be like, how come I got eight in there? So I'm going to stick this in the water, fling it off, pick up the seeds. This one lady told me that she used a toothpick, but I, I feel comfortable using this. This is just a, a shish kebab stick. And they've been sitting in my drawer for years because I haven't, I've never done any shish kebab. So I have about 200 of these sticks that have been there, I don't know, years, at least 10 years. <laughs> you know, you have these bright ideas and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do some shish kebabs and I'm gonna get these sticks. Man, I ain't do no shish kebabs. And I'm glad I bought them though because they're coming in handy right now. They're just the right size. So I just did that one. I don't have many seeds left, but I'm picking them up one by one. Kind of like I was picking up those snails today. Man, I was fighting with them. I must have picked up at least 300 snails. I'll show them to you. It's snail population, and I think I'm trying to drown them. Sorry if y'all like snails. Anybody who wants snails, just let me know, because I sure have. I probably have a 1,000 more. I'm going to put some dust out there. I have to control them because... They're eating up everything. They are going straight to my brassicas, straight to them. It was like there was a trail of, of snails that, I mean, I was like, How, what are y'all doing? Communicating? Spreading the word? Uh, is, is the, are the vegetation sending off a message to you? Because they were going over the grass, heading straight towards the gazebo where the brassicas. And then I went and I said, okay, well, maybe it's just because they're going towards the gazebo. No. I went to the side that didn't have any any mustards, any kale, or any um, any um, any brassicas, any turnips, nothing. 
there was no snail, almost no snails on that side. So they somehow know where you plant your vegetation or where you plant the good stuff because that's where they were heading. Big ones, small ones, mamas, papas, lovers. Two of them were connected together. I threw them in the in the, the bucket together. I said, well, you love together, you die together. So I put everything in the bucket. There were so many snails in there. I don't even know if I had enough water in there. And I filled the bucket about three-fourths. Excuse, excuse me, I got water on this thing. That is a mistake. Okay, I got two. Um, I filled the bucket about one third of the way full of water and i i'll tell you it looked like it was full to me of snails they were crawling out so i put a lid on it and put another pail on top then i started looking up things to do with with snails my chickens don't want them they're bougie they're like oh no you need to go in there and get us some corn we don't we don't do that <laughs> and then epiphanie the saga be continues with him. He jumped the fence. was out there screaming. And then all the other chickens were waiting out there for him because he's the leader of the pack, right? So they're all standing in the rain. All of them were wet. Instead of leaving his butt out there by himself, they're standing out there, you know, waiting for him to get rescued by me. So, of course, I went out there, but they were all wet. So now... You know, and then I was watching, <laughs> funny thing is, I was watching another YouTuber and they had roosters. So I think, I, after I got Epifania back in there with the rest of them, um, they must have all went into the chicken coop. Well, I hear a rooster. Let me let you see me again because I'm done. I hear a rooster. <laughs> on the television and I'm like, oh my God, Epifania, you're back out. What is wrong with you, right? Well, it was the rooster on the TV. <laughs> Epifania, they're cold. They were wet. It is like 40 something degrees out there and all of them are wet because they were waiting outside for him to get back in. They wouldn't go back in the coop. Once I let him back in, I guess they all went back in. So I hear the rooster on TV and I go outside and I look and then I hear the rooster again from behind me, which is where the TV is. I was like, this darn Epiphania, he's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> anyway, enough of my saga with my rooster. Anybody want a rooster? <laughs> this guy, this dude is out of control. He's always, always, always going over the fence. And then when he gets over there, he realizes that he's in danger and he starts screaming for me. Or... He's extorting me. I think he's extorting me because the only way I can get him back in most of the time, unless he's been out there a while, is to put corn down. And that's how I got him in a minute ago. Anyway, enough of that Bafanya. Enough of him. <laughs> so I have all of my seeds here and I need to go and get my spray bottle. Give me just a sec and we're going to mist these things back in. Let me bring you down. And there we go. Back on my tray. I'll be right back. So this is a mister. I sound like I'm saying mister is this mister and missus. This is a mister that I bought from Amazon and it's for my hair. I think it cost me like five, six dollars and I got two of them. So what I do with this is I mist it to seat the seeds in. And it's not a spray bottle, it's an actual mister. It creates a mist and there's no aerosol or anything. It, it creates an aerosol and I can't tell you how they do it, but you see that? It's just a mist and you just mist them in. I'm so glad I got this because I have so many seeds that um, require a mister to get them in. And I just keep on doing this until I see it sprout. So I do this several times a day just so that it doesn't dry out and the seeds um, germinate. 
because they're sitting on top of the soil. Now with small seeds, you do not want to bury them because they can't break through the soil. They're not strong enough. It's strange how celery is very, it's huge, right? To me, it's one of the bigger plants, but the seeds are so small. That's like somebody being born, like toddlers being born really small, and then you see them when they grow up and they're the biggest ones in the family. That happened in my family. My brother was really small, really small. And now he's like six foot four. You never know who people gonna be. <laughs> I used to beat him. I used to fight with him. I was his big sister and I, he had to listen to me because I was practically his caretaker. My mom had to work. So I've misted all the celery in and let me see what the germination is. It says it's, see, days to germination, 14 to 21 days. That's a long time. That's a long time. So we'll see. I am within the right time period for this area because I am in 8A. Uh, I think I'm in zone 8A. So that's the orange one. And they say March through August. So we'll see. I'll just miss them as much as I possibly can. And um, hope for the best. <laughs> I'm sure they'll germinate. If they don't, I'll just do it again. Because I have a whole bunch of seeds in here. They put a lot in here. And this, this was not a value pack. Oh, yeah. I have a whole whole bunch of seeds in there. You see that? That's at least 100 to 300 seeds in there. So if it doesn't germinate this time, I'll just do it again. I have until August. Stop. <laughs> so I put three to four in each pod with the exception, with the exception of that one right there. I don't know what that is. So I didn't put anything there in that one. I didn't put anything there either. I'm going to put these seeds into my catalog <clears throat> with everything else. Um, they are not 90 days to harvest, so that's not very long. They're non-GMO, but they're not um, heirloom, as far as I can see. But I need celery, and I buy celery, and it's like a dollar fifty-nine to a dollar seventy-nine each now. And if I get them all to germinate, I'll have plenty of them for a while. So here we are. This is Jamerica fifty-two eighty-eight. Thank you for staying with me for this planting session. I have my celery done so I can make my gumbo <laughs> and whatever else I want. I mean, I de dehydrate celery. I make my own celery salt. A celery salt is a preservative when you, um, so I do my own buckboard bacon. And instead of buying that number one salt, you can use celery salt for the nitrates. Instead, and it's a natural nitrate instead of buying that pink salt which they say is bad for you. So I'm going to try that <laughs> as long as I get my own celery and I don't waste a lot of money, you know, buying celery. And then I make, I mean, one celery makes about a, a, like a, what? A fourth of a jar of a small jar, a sardine jar. So it doesn't make very much once you dehydrate celery. So if I make my own, I'll have plenty of it and I don't have to buy it. So I've talked enough. This is Jamerica 5288. I hope you enjoyed this planting session of celery. And I encourage you to go ahead and start doing anything. I mean, do a tomato plant, try something, anything, your favorite vegetable and put it in your windowsill. And I'll, I mean, I almost guarantee you'll sprout. Just make sure you take care of it. And if it doesn't work out the first time, just do it again and again and again. As I said, if these don't work out, I have at least 300, 100 to 300 more tries because there are plenty of seeds in here. I don't give up. I just keep trying. If something doesn't work out, I'll just do it again and again and again until I get it right. So this is Jamerica 5288. You all have a great day and I will see you on my next one. Oh, remember, like and subscribe. See you then. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Last thing I promised you, I told you about the bucket on the bucket, right? You didn't believe me about the snails. Look at this. That that is an infestation. <laughs>